Um, I think we're going to go ahead and cut off the news for now and just go and move on over to what we've been playing. You want to go ahead and sure. do the honors, Bronson? Um, couple things. So I've been getting back into Warzone with my friend CJ, kind of playing that from time to time. That is... Oh, sh- I-, I didn't know you were playing it's Warzone. Like, it's one more thing to pass the time, if that makes sense. Like, it's more... Less about the game and more the person for me. It's like, okay, cool. Right. Hey, it's my, hey, it's my buddy. You want to play stuff? Cool. You want to play You play this? All right, that's fine. <laughs> um, well, hey, if, if you need yeah. a semi-decent Do person... Do not call me. I <laughs> I and would then, do nothing to contribute. <laughs> and then, what's another one? Um, I think he, I think you're constantly yeah. playing Among Believe Us. Believe it or so not, not that. as much nowadays. I'm kind of holding off on that for a little bit, just because. For the yeah, for the new, for the map, new map and right? like the, just you know, you don't want to have everything be so samey. So it's good. Mm. To, it's good to mix it up a little bit. So. I think you can mix it up. Um, I, I know you're probably in, like in a bunch of different Among Us communities, but I think specifically playing with different yeah. people mm-hmm. can help out nah, a lot that's definitely too. True. I'm only in one. The game night one is the only one that I really like heavily am in, which I kind of prefer. But also, you know, everyone kind of will suss me out for any reason whatsoever <laughs> now. So it's just like, all right, that works, I guess. <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah, if you jump in a new server, no one knows who you are. They don't. Oh, uh, that know doesn't always work very trips. well because I usually do something yeah. very evil very quickly, and then get in trouble <laughs> for it. Um, some other ones I was trying to work through my backlog. I just started a new job, so it's kind of on the wayside a little bit. Um, I played through I Am Dead, which is um, kind of best way to put it. It's kind of a puzzle adventure game, basically. You're Oh, is that the one where where you're a ghost and it's like an Anna? It's an Anna, Anna Perna game. Yes, it's the Anna oh, Perna game. Oh, I wanted to play that. It, I enjoyed it very much. Um, that was interesting to me because you know, Anna Perna, their thing is quality, and a big thing for me when it comes to like games with a lot of text and whatnot is full voice acting. I want it. That's what I'm kind of prefer like there's visual novels that i won't play like i haven't played disco elysium yet specifically because yeah, not enough force acting in it and i know it's a very it's a very text heavy game and then there's so you more of a dubs I versus like subs having, kind of guy i like having some more emotion in it like for example the visual novel eliza is one of my favorite games of like the last couple of years and that just comes down to how strong the story is and voice acting is a part of that so, yeah, I will. I will also jump in on the Anna Perna screen because I go to a uh, day of the day of the devs every every year, and mm-hmm. Anna Perna always has their own like room, like they have their own room where they're showing off like all of the indie games that they're that they're currently backing. And some of my favorite games I've played at Day of the Devs, not counting that one time I got to play Kingdom Hearts three a year a year early. But mm-hmm. like pretty much every game I played at a Day of the Devs that was an Anna Perna title. I've loved everything. Like Annapurna also has has this thing where they support indie games to the point where they're just like, we're just going to give you the money to like pu- publish it. They're yeah. like, we're just going to support you financially. You can do whatever, whatever you want. That's it. And I think we need more companies like them. Yes, I agree. Because they they will let you kind of, for better or worse, make what you want to make. And like mm-hmm. coming back to, to I Am Dead... The story part of it was more interesting to me than the actual gameplay part. The gameplay part was kind of go through this environment. wasn't really point and click. It was more of a spin on it. Um, this if it's basically your your ghost power is you can hone in on objects. And by hone in, I mean you get down to like specific molecules of it. And like you would focus on like objects of importance for someone you're looking for. And that's the kind of way that you would find people. And that was interesting for me just in terms of, you know, like how 2020 was for everybody and whatnot. It's kind of very therapeutic in that regard. Like, okay, we're talking about people passing on, the afterlife, kind of those kind of things. We're not doing it in like a brutal, brutal manner. It's like, hey, this is kind of how it is. So that was interesting to me. And then I just got a new phone. So I'm sure to kind of go through 
my usual phone games that I will try and start and then never finish. Like old old man's journey, like those kind of ones, part time UFO, all that jazz. So that's what I got so far for games. Let's see. You and me have also been playing a little bit of. Uh, uh, or yes, we, played, like, we did what, play maybe Scott an hour Pilgrim. Two yes, of, uh, Scott Pilgrim. Pilgrim. I think we already touched on a little bit earlier, but I think like yeah, it's mm-hmm. a fun, nice little beat 'em up. Beat 'em ups aren't necessarily something I'm in enthusiastic about nowadays so much as when i was a kid playing them in an arcade you know they're just designed mm-hmm, to eat mm-hmm. the quarters i think even on normal it's probably a little bit harder than it really needs to there's no real way to like break enemies blocks which can get a little annoying but when it comes to just playing with a whole bunch of friends and tossing bottles and uh, shovels and other enemies at each other's heads and doing friendly oh, yeah. fire i think it's a pretty good time. I, need, I need the bottle i need it um <laughs> I, no, no, I got pretty true. good at catching them until you yep. start tossing the back that, that's how it works you 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 figured something <laughs> else out so i just made it better um that game has serious grind <laughs> issues in that you need to keep farming money to get better until you eventually beat the game which kind of sours me on it somewhat but as a group experience group co-op experience it's excellent and like gameplay's fun the soundtrack kind of elevates everything, in my opinion. I'm just very pleased as someone who... Anamanaguchi is the band that does the soundtrack. I love that band. I've seen them live in Philly so at some I. awful dive they bar. Kicked. See, I saw them live with... <laughs> I saw them live with fucking Hatsune Miku like four fucking years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and they kicked ass. Like they're mm-hmm. They're some of the most fun seeing them live and seeing how they do their music, how they use guitars to do their music, which you would never guess that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're like, they're like a blast. They're the only reason I've been wanting to like pick that game up again. Cause I had it way back when it came out on, on 360. Like that's how long ago that I've had it. And I was thinking of picking it up again, just cause I remember it being a lot of fun and the soundtrack kicking a lot of butt. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's interesting to me saying like, okay, like, I backed Anamata Gucci's Kickstarter and it took them years to finish it. So I know that they're kind of free spirits is how we'll, we'll, we'll go with it. It's great to me seeing like the reverence that people have for the soundtrack over the re-release. They did Ubi the Twitch stream with Anamata Gucci doing like not a live concert, but like they did a concert over Zoom or like they kind of did a, a more remote con- con- concert while going through like the levels of the game. Like they played another winter when players were going through the first level, that kind of thing. And seeing like, Oh, Hey, the S- Scott Pilgrim soundtrack has a colored vinyl. Now Scott Pilgrim has a $200 special KO version with a panorama that plays music. That stuff's great for me just cause it's like, Oh, Hey, it means that, mm. you know, this band that I like has, is getting the reference that I think that they would deserve for the work that they did, even if it took forever. I think in a lot of ways, at least to me, is that I think my favorite parts about the game are everything that aren't necessarily the game. Like like you said, it's absolutely the music, it's the aesthetic, it's the um, animation. Like that's, that's kind of the stuff that like immediately jumps out to me. And I... I want to say nostalgia for like even the original release, but that, that that's what stands out to me. At least that's what mm-hmm. makes it memorable. Not so much the yeah. beat em up nature of it. So when are you going to pick it up, Sarah? We need more people. We, we couldn't play with Dio because of the, uh, the servers were acting a little I wonky have to for beat him. Cyberpunk. I told myself I can't play anything else to beat cyberpunk, but my OCD is forcing me to play cyberpunk for longer than I wanted to. Cause I have to do everything. You know, I, I need to shout out Dio real quick because I already, I already have such a giant, giant backlog. I don't want to touch anything else, but me and Dio kind of bonded a little bit over <laughs> the Mafia series because he wanted cause he was talking about playing Mafia one. I'm just like, oh, let me play it. Then I had a good time. I talked about it on length um, for a while on Twitter. I'm not sure I talked about it on here yet, but um, I'm just like, oh, yeah, let me buy Mafia 2. And Dio's like, no, don't fucking buy it. It's not a good game. It doesn't hold yeah, up. I'm, I'm like, going to do it. I'm going to do it. And uh, But now 
But now Dio has proven he's the kindest soul on on the planet because he's just constantly trying to say like, look, just do the Steam share thing mm-hmm. with my Steam account. That way you can play. I'm just like, Good Dio, nice. that's too kind. That That's very generous to give your what's yeah. basically your login information so that I can that, 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 yeah, that's a giant okay, amount of trust. He's doing that so you will try um, Mafia 2 and then be like, oh, wow, I was he he was right. Was, this he, sucks. He was right. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's basically it. But still, just like that that level of trust, yeah. I, I love you, Dio. But I am very stubborn. I cannot even accept a glass of water if someone offers it to me in their house. And I, if like if I'm fucking parched, can't do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> very kind. Um, but so let's see. That that's yep. about all you've been playing then, Bronson. 